Today, I wanted to continue to introduce Dakota to ropes. He was not comfortable with the rope on its own, so I used the bamboo pole to introduce the rope. The rope, the pole, and my proximity were a little too overwhelming for little Dakota. In a previous episode, I talked about wanting Dakota to learn that escape was not the solution. Here, I keep the pole on his back until he stops moving, so that he learns that running away is not going to remove the stimulus that he doesn't like. All horses have a learning curve that goes up, sharply down, and then back up again. They usually are their worst right before they gain understanding. My goal was to get the rope over Dakota's back. I would then leave the rope on him so that he would learn to deal with it by himself. Today I started Aries in his favorite corner on his left side. I usually try to wait till Aries is relaxed before I put the pole on him, but in this case he was anticipating the touch and worrying, so I put the pole on him even though he was clearly still tense. Here I ask Aries to turn around so we can work on his right side. Aries turns back around showing me his left side. I wanted to make sure he was still comfortable with being touched on the left before I again asked him to turn around and show me his right side. First time with the pole on his back on the right side. Even though he is quite jumpy, I try to remain as quiet and smooth as possible. For those of you that read my blog this week, this is the look I was talking about. He's still clearly worried, but it looks to me like he's starting to trust. Today was going to be more work with the rope for Dakota. I have to keep reminding myself that they get worse before they get better.
Dakota finally did stop, and I used my handy bamboo rope applicator tool to put the rope over his back. Today, like yesterday, I wanted Dakota to just walk around by himself with the rope on his back. With Mustangs, I believe as long as you are not hurting or scaring them, everything is progress. Dakota had run around and pulled the rope almost all the way off his back. Here I'm using the bamboo pole to pull it back over so that it hangs almost evenly over his back. My friend Kathy, who has gentled many Mustangs, suggested I scratch his itchy spot with the pole in the hopes that he might associate the pole with something I could do for him. Good tip! Today I started Aries on his right side. Aries' acceptance of the pole on his back has improved so much in just three short days. Aries makes more eye contact than any other Mustang I've worked with. As I stood near him, I just got the feeling he might be interested in giving me a sniff. So I went for it. And so did he. That first sniff was his biggest effort. He never quite got that close again that day. Today I wanted to do some very quiet rope work with Dakota. Notice who's ever watchful in the background. See how his body is shifted away from me? After noticing that, I wanted to work on having him turn towards me rather than leaning away. Notice here, as I step in, he turns away. 
I don't want to keep advancing when his mind is clearly thinking about leaving. I believe trust is gained when I show him I both understand and respect what he is telling me with his body. I want him to reach out and sniff me on both sides. Every horse has that spot, that spot on them where if you itch it, they immediately turn to butter. I found Dakota's spot. Today I wanted to continue the great work we had done the day before on Aries' right side. Today, Aries invented a game, a sniff and retreat game. Here are the rules of the game. He turns his head. I offer my hand. He sniffs at my hand. He retreats. I retreat. And repeat. He very quickly figured out the rules of the game. I was very careful to make sure he was in charge of the game. I only offered my hand when he turned his head. By letting him be in charge, I give him confidence that he can control and predict my actions. We did play the sniff and retreat game on both sides. This has been quite an impressive week for both Aries and Dakota. I can't wait to see what next week will bring.